Welcome to Past Us. Today we'll talk about 10 things the Big Bang Theory is hiding from you. The Big Bang Theory is an American sitcom created by Chuck Lorre and Bill Prady. It aired on CBS on September 24, 2007, and ended with its 12th season on May the 16, 2019. Here are some popular facts you need to know. Here's the list of top 10 things the Big Bang Theory is hiding from you. But before starting the video, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to never miss out on any of our videos. Number 10. Melissa Rauch's Real Life Pregnancies Melissa Rauch, who plays the role of Bernadette, a Catholic in the series, is Jewish in real life. Both of Melissa Rauch's real-life pregnancies were mentioned in the show. Melissa Rauch, a.k.a. Dr. Bernadette Rostenskowski Wallowitz, may be one of the stars of The Big Bang Theory, but behind the scenes she's been dealing with personal struggles that many women can relate to. After announcing that she's expecting her first child this fall, this 37-year-old actress also opened up about heartbreaking miscarriage she suffered. Here's the only statement regarding my pregnancy that doesn't make me feel like a complete fraud. Melissa is expecting her first child. She's extremely overjoyed, but if she's being honest, due to the fact that she had a miscarriage the last time she was pregnant, she's pretty much terrified at the moment that it'll happen again. Number 9. Howard's Mother Voice Sex criminals don't have keys, Ma! Where were you so late? I was out with Bernadette! I know what that means! Late American actor Carol Ann Susie was the iconic voice behind Mrs. Wallowitz prior to The Big Bang Theory. Susie was most known for her role as Monique Marmelstein on ABC's The Night Stalker. The actor appeared in a number of other series including Cheers, Doogie Howser, MD, and Six Feet Under. Howard, Simon Helberg's mother voice, was heard throughout the show but her face was not actually seen on screen. She appeared very briefly on the screen in the season 5 finale as the camera pans up from the rooftop but the face was still never shown. She died after the actress who played her, Carol Ann Susie, died of cancer. Number 8. Euglosa Bazinga On January 3, 2013, a team of Brazilian biologists announced their name for a newly discovered species of orchid bee, Euglosa Bazinga. This was to honor the show the specifically Sheldon Jim Parsons' mocking catchphrase, Bazinga. Long mistaken for another bee, Euglosa ignitia, the new species was deliberately tagged Bazinga for its history of fooling entomologists. Executive producer Stephen Malaro responded in a press release, We're always extremely flattered when the science community embraces our show. This specific effort honors the clever, funny, captivating nerd character Sheldon Cooper, brilliantly portrayed by the North American actor James Joseph Jim Parsons. Number 7. Sheldon's Mother Laurie Metcalf is an American actress who has won a number of Emmy and Tony Awards across her long career. The 64-year-old actress featured in the Big Bang Theory series between 2007 and 2018, playing the role of Mary Cooper, Sheldon's Jim Parsons' mother. But later, her daughter Zoe Perry appeared as the young Mary Cooper in the CBS sitcom Young Sheldon. A role originated by her mother Laurie Metcalf in the show's predecessor, The Big Bang Theory, and in recurring roles on The Family and the Scandal. Number 6. Why don't the actors eat the food on their plates? Like many other sitcoms, the cast of The Big Bang Theory typically fake eating their food. This popular method ensures that actors don't get full no matter how many times they have to do a single take to get the shot. It also allows them to catch their timing easier when they need to deliver a line. Both Cuoco and Nair spoke about this particular acting plot as Penny and Raj separately. Cuoco revealed via Instagram that all the leftovers from the shoot were donated at the end of the workday. Meanwhile, Nair even demonstrated via Conan some of the techniques they used while filming an eating scene on The Big Bang Theory. One of his tips included putting the food back into the containers after fake chewing. Number 5. Maya Balik's Right Hand Maya Balik earned her first Emmy nomination last month for a role as Dr. Amy Farrah Fowler on the hit CBS show The Big Bang Theory. Nearly a month later, she was involved in a serious car accident that maimed her hand. Fortunately, the actress returned to the spotlight this week, joking about wearing a bedazzled splint on the Emmy's red carpet. On five episodes or more of season six, Maya Balik's bright hand was hidden in certain ways and camera shots to conceal that the injury she received, and the glove she wore to cover it from an automobile accident in August of 2012. Traffic was being diverted to nearby side streets following the crash. Number 4. Sheldon's t-shirts are a symbol of his temperament Despite his many neuroses and idiosyncrasies, The Big Bang Theory's Dr. Sheldon Cooper, played to perfection by Jim Parsons, has excellent geek fashion style. His shirts, which he always wears over a long sleeve, feature references to superheroes, quantum physics, geek television shows, and robots. Sheldon, Jim Parsons frequently wears t-shirts with the characters or symbol of the Green Lantern, The Flash, or the old television show The Great American Hero 1981. The shirts from the Green Lantern comic book series are various colors with a corresponding symbol, with each color representing a different core of heroes or villains. In the comics, each color also represents an emotion, thus possibly giving the viewer a clue to Sheldon's temperament for the day. Number 3. Two Character Traits Sheldon is characterized by a strict adherence to routine and hygiene, an overly intellectual personality, a tenuous understanding of irony, sarcasm and humor, and a general lack of humility or empathy. 
In the early episodes of Season 1, Sheldon Jim Parsons has two character traits that were not established right away. First, he understood the nature of romantic and sexual relationships in the first few episodes. He chides Leonard, Johnny Galecki, for his hopes of getting into a relationship with Penny, Kaylee Cuoco, often telling Leonard that he has no chance of having sex with her. Also, Sheldon understood the nature of sarcasm, as he occasionally used it himself in the early episodes. Later, his character evolved into a purely intellectual person and an emotional man-child who does not fully understand sex, love, or sarcasm. Number 2. The first person to speak female characters become their mates In every one of the main female characters' first appearances on the show, the first person to speak to them are the future mates. In the pilot, The Big Bang Theory Pilot 2007, when Penny, Kaylee Cuoco, is introduced, the first person to speak to her is Leonard, Johnny Galecki. In Season 3, Episode 5, The Big Bang Theory, The Creepy Candy Coating Corollary, 2009, when Bernadette, Melissa Rauch, is introduced, the first person to speak to her is Howard, Simon Helberg. And in Season 3, Episode 23, The Big Bang Theory, The Lunar Excitation 2010, when Amy Mayim Balik is introduced, the first person to speak to her is Sheldon Jim Parsons. Number 1. Amy and Bernadette wears the same style of clothes Much like the four main male characters, Amy, Mayim Balik, and Bernadette, Melissa Rauch, wear the same style of clothing in every episode. Amy wears a knee-length skirt with dark or colorful tights, a long-sleeve collared blouse with a knitted sleeveless cardigan, often underneath a long-sleeved cardigan. Amy's preference for plaid and stripes over floral along with the training from her mother, as she tells us in her first episode, to only wear modest and acceptable. Bernadette wears a mid thigh length usually floral dress with dark or colored tights and a short-sleeved button-up cardigan. Although after her pregnancy, starts to wear jeans and a blouse instead, Penny Kaylee Cuoco is the only main character whose clothes don't follow a pattern, She's almost always seen in a floral, patterned dresses or skirts paired with the cardigan. Thank you for watching. If you liked our video, then hit the subscribe button to never miss out on any of our videos. See you next time.